بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone I am Aqil Al-Khursan I am a petroleum engineer I work as a petrophysicist uh, in the petrophysics team um, reservoir management uh, subsurface department Okay, uh, today I want to talk about uh, the most uh, important uh, tool that is used in uh, petrophysics, uh, uh, especially in the case tool. So, uh, before uh, I talk about this tool, I want to say uh, petrophysics uh, has uh, a two type of team, or yeah, uh, two type of team. A case hole and open hole and uh, PLT is uh, part of case hole tools so uh, we'll start uh, by this question uh, why we run production logging tool or uh, production uh, logs in case hole the first uh, yeah, the first objective for this uh, PLT it is uh, to monitor reservoir performance and variations like uh, flow profile and uh, what is uh, in the flow profile uh, perforation uh, and so on um, the saturation profile the uh, second one of uh, why we run a production logging tool to diagnose for the problems so uh, maybe someone uh, um, ask uh, what are well problems well problems uh, like water entry uh, what is water entry water entry uh, um, uh, to the points uh, in the whole pool uh, that uh, the water uh, is producing from it uh, and you know um, in the in the pro production of uh, oil uh, at all uh, field at all oil fields uh, we don't need uh, any water cut so PLT uh, diagnose uh, where where is the the water entry and uh, uh, what is the amount of water okay uh, the, that is uh, named as uh, water cut okay the other problem uh, gas entry and uh, leaks and mechanical problems okay leaks in the wool pore uh, and uh, other mechanical problems uh, like integrity issue in the casing uh, and the other problems like flow behind casing and we will uh, discuss and explain the uh, the cross flow and uh, what is the relation between the PLT and the cross flow. Uh, the other um, causes for why we run PLT for guidance uh, workover and enhanced oil recovery. Okay, uh, we can see here the PLT tool set ring and the parts uh, sensors of uh, this tool uh, in the bottom of tool you can see here this uh, shape uh, it is named as uh, spinner and uh, we can see this gauge for the centralizer and the other sensor we will uh, explain the sensors so uh, what are the application of uh, PLT you can see here the image and uh, this uh, slide okay you can see uh, the track of temperature track of the apparent uh, water hold up uh, density pressure and the track of the amount okay uh, all these uh, all these properties uh, it is uh, got uh, from the PLT and uh, it is the main uh, yes the main properties uh, we can uh, get it uh, get them from uh, this tool <coughs> okay this the sensor here and uh, here the spinner mm, actually 
uh, we have uh, two spinner inline spinner and a gauge full pour uh, spinner but the the the, the important one it is uh, the gauge full spinner okay because the uh, the the whole of uh, of flowing of uh, for the fluid uh, will be uh, begun uh, and face uh, this uh, spinner um, the other sensor it is capacitance and uh, sometimes uh, uh, we read uh, dielectric okay and this capacitance or name uh, named as uh, dielectric it is the opposite readings for the density we will we will uh, explain that in in the in the, in the PLT curves inshallah okay so uh, there are uh, two important points for the sensor of density. Uh, um, okay, someone can uh, can say this is a question. Uh, what do you? What uh, is the usefulness of uh, density measurement, density sensor? Uh, the first one uh, for determine volumetric flow. Okay, and the other one show entry points. And uh, what we say in the in the, the first slide or two slide, uh, the second slide, yes, uh, we say we say uh, there uh, the the PLT diagonal some problems like gas entry and water entry. This is show uh, by density. Okay, so um, actually I I, I want uh, to uh, explain um, the basics of uh, this uh, PLT. So there are a lot of informations of uh, this tool i uh, will not talk about it uh, just the general view um, plt conditions uh, there are two types of conditions for the plt flowing and shutting uh, okay uh, this uh, these images uh, that is captured from the software uh, that is used in uh, for, for the for this tool uh, it's named as um, um, plateau okay um this plateau uh, can show me uh, the, the the readings of the spinner and the readings of the apart and after processing these readings uh, we can say we can see uh, the amount of uh, of oil the amount of water uh, and you can see here the partial amount for the oil and uh, water um this cpi uh, of tracks uh, that show the uh, yeah the amount of oil and amount of water the partial amount and the other tracks for open hole like permeability resistivity and the gamma ray all these uh, tracks it is uh, it is very useful to make interpretation uh, for for uh, for my will for my job uh, and uh, any any case uh, we want to uh, to know uh, what we what we should uh, uh, handle with uh, with it, okay. So uh, in this slide, uh, we can uh, show uh, uh, the the the, the um, problem uh, we diagnose it by PLT. So uh, what is this problem? This problem uh, it's named as cross flow. So. What is a cross flow? Cross flow uh, can be um, yeah uh, can be happened in the in the bottom of, of the of the well or in the middle of the well um, anyway. But I want to say uh, the cross flow um, uh, can be uh, can be done from uh, from the zone has a uh, high pressure to the zone has a uh, low pressure okay so uh, the fluid will flow from the bottom uh, bottom zone to the top zone or uh, maybe otherwise uh, in in the in the opposite meaning from the top zone to the uh, bottom zone it is depend on the value of a pressure okay so uh, this case can be diagnosed by plt okay so when you uh, run the plt um, to face the uh, flow uh, of fluid 
okay a spinner by movement of a spinner can uh, know the there are some fluids in the whole pore but uh, in the in the plt you have uh, a lot of sensors okay like pressure so when you uh, take the the curve of pressure and take a look for the uh, for this track and you can see the point a yeah, yeah, point of pressure where is the where is the decreasing where's the increasing okay so you can take us by plt the cross flow this slide show us um, uh, some variables some properties uh, or we can say uh, uh, any term for that but this is curves um, uh, it is the plt sensors okay you can see here temperature pressure density dielectric line speed spinner gamma ray CCL. so someone can uh, ask uh, how can you read this curve uh, and tell me uh, the, the the useful of this of these curves uh, my brother I want to say these curves it is the PLT okay so uh, when we uh, start to read the temperature we'll start from the bottom you can see here PLT the value will be changed okay you can see the change here yeah and the change here so the, these points of changing temperature uh, what can give you okay what the imagination that can that can give you this uh, this changing of points tell me we can say there are some fluids movements in the whirlpool but what types what the types of these fluids we can't recognize right but there are some variables can't tell us uh, the types of fluids follow me pressure here is stable so the well is stable but the density here the density here when we follow it from the bottom the values of the density will be changed right so change from a uh, value like 1.1 then will be will be go to point nine point eight until to point seven but when you compare these points of changing density with the point changing of temperature you can know there are a different fluids and uh, I think uh, all petroleum engineer, all geologists, or another one uh, know the density of of uh, oil and density of water can recognize here uh, wa was uh, water in the bottom of the well, but in the uh, in this uh, area, yeah, there are. Uh, some movements there is a fluid uh, flow from here and these fluids uh, different okay and dielectric make uh, the, the same evidence for that okay when we uh, uh, go to uh, another another uh, tracks like spinner spinner readings spinner readings in the same points of of uh, of different uh, temperature and uh, density you can see here the uh, movement of a spinner will change also okay 
uh, my friends and uh, brothers, uh, I want to thank uh, anyone of you. Uh, these, this um, example will be to you. Okay, so you should read gamma ray, temperature, pressure, density, spin up, and make comparing between other. Um, this example uh, from Romero oil field, and uh, you can see here uh, a lot of uh, tracks. Uh, we said in the beginning, um, this is the open hole tracks, and this tracks for cased hole, like this for the uh, sigma and CO, or uh, for the uh, saturation logs. But here, the tracks that is got from the PLT, the amount of oil, amount of water, this perf, yeah, this perf of uh, of oil, and these the partial amount of oil and water, well, and uh, you can see the changing of uh, of temperature here. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, to follow this presenting. Thank you.